YouTube, what's going on, you guys? Back at it again. Uh, we're here in this hot Texas weather. Uh, got a little mod I picked up. Uh, it's a motorcycle LED turn signal for the helmet. Uh, I actually uh, went to the flea market the other day and I saw it. And I mean, I only paid like six bucks, you know? So I was like, what the heck? I'll get it, you know, and give it a try. But I'm about to install this in one of my helmets. It's probably gonna be the, my favorite helmet that I usually use. Um, and I think I'm gonna put it on the on the 250 here. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it. All right, as you can see here, I got it out of the package. Um, it comes with some little screws, a screwdriver, which actually this could come in handy. Um, a little adapter for it, and the little brake light on the helmet, which uh, the thing that I don't like, it uses a uh, AAA batteries. It uses two AAA batteries. So I don't know if this is kind of like an older version or what, but it's really bright. As you can see right here, I already put the batteries in there. But yeah, the only, the only thing I don't like is it uses the triple battery. So when it goes out, you just have to be aware that your batteries are low or whatever. But I got my helmet here that I'm gonna put it on. This is my first helmet right here. It's a Ice Storm helmet, which is really comfortable. Um, my it came with the 50 cc when i bought the 50 cc it came with it the guy uh who i bought it from gave me the, the and it's the best helmet i ever had you guys uh ice storm and they're not that expensive neither like what 50 60 bucks for it as you can see i got my little goku sticker right here but yeah i got the the strips here um for the leds right here it lights up red i think i showed y'all before but yeah uh, i'm gonna put it right here uh i'm gonna put it and let's get it all right guys so i got it in there man i kind of don't like it though it's kind of like weird i need to fix these wires because they're gonna get in the way um but yeah i got it in there as you can see i'll press it for you i haven't installed the module but i will they're pretty bright they're pretty bright as y'all can see right there you know it does have the signal light as well so when you go left you go left or whatever but uh, yeah, I got that in. So let me go ahead and put the module in the motorcycle and I'll get back at y'all. All right, so we're gonna put it on the 250cc uh, because it's probably gonna be the bike that I'm gonna use from now on most of the time. Uh, I just gotta get the, I don't know, uh, riding on my 125cc feels kind of weird and funny, but I gotta get used to getting these, uh, you know, riding on a big bike because I am gonna get a bike, a new bike pretty soon. But let me go ahead and put that module. It should be simple. It shouldn't be that hard to put. All this is all of this is just wiring. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and put it on, and I'll get back at y'all. All right, so I got it powered on. As you can see there, it's flashing red. So now I gotta connect the uh, the signal lights and the brake light uh, to work properly, which is these three wires here. I mean these two wires here. So, uh, yeah, uh, once I get it, I'll get back at you. All right, you guys, a little update. Uh, I was wiring it wrong. I had the daytime wire with the daytime uh, light on. And I guess this one don't have a daytime light on. It just has a brake in the signals. But I got the brake to work. As you can see here, let me zoom in. It's working right here. So I guess this one don't have a daytime light on um, because there's no wire for it. I try to put the uh, the running light wire on the same wire as the brake, but it's just like, it, it, it just shorts it out. So I wish it did have a daytime light on. It'll be kind of cool though, but oh well. Let's get the signal light on working. And uh, yeah, we're almost done. Easy, simple mod. All right guys, so I got the left signal light on working. Uh, as you can see right there, I got them working. Uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. If y'all want to do this, the wiring is just right behind the second seat of the 250. Uh, Honda CBR, Yamaha 250, 300. They should all be the same. You know, this is the exact clone or whatever. But I thought I was going to have trouble finding the wires. But now nah, it's pretty simple. They're all right here. Uh, just this is different colors. But I didn't have no issue with it, as you can see right here. But yeah, I'm almost done. Uh, let's get the right one. Put on and i should be ready to go all right guys so i finished up 
Uh, it took me a little while just because of the wiring. The wires were just too short. So I had trouble, you know, uh, getting the wires together or whatnot. But I got it all ready to go. As you can see, there's your right signal. There's your left signal, which is really good. It's really bright. Um, let me see here. It's really bright, you guys. Just right now, some of the sunlight. And I don't know, it looks really dark, but but yeah, I got everything ready to go. Uh, I wasn't expecting of getting this, but like I said, I just ran into it for like six bucks. You can't beat it. So in a way, it's a good safety measurement. You know, uh, I recommend y'all, if y'all ride a lot, I recommend y'all getting this right here. Well, not this exact one, but you know, a, a brake light, you know, cause sometimes uh, the cars are higher like if it's a truck or whatnot, you know, the truck is higher and they can't really see you turning or whatever, you're more up. But I recommend y'all just to be safe, you guys, you know, better safe than sorry. Um, I'm probably gonna add more double-sided tape here, but I guess it just stays on. You just power it on one time. I thought it would, it would stay on, but but no, but, but yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Yeah. yeah.